Good morning, Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for Thursday, the 19th of September, 2013. Not a lot really going on in the Atlantic Basin, at least nothing to be concerned with of any significant threats developing. We still have Invest Area 95L with a high chance of development down here in the Bay of Campeche. Then we have a new area that's popped up here between Florida and Bermuda, low chance of development. And the leftovers of Umberto, now a tropical depression. This will continue to move on out, and eventually we won't be talking about that any longer. In the eastern Pacific, of course, we have Hurricane Manuel. Right there along the coast of Mexico, winds of 75 miles per hour. Uh, really just a nasty situation down here with all this rain falling over some of the same areas over and over again with this very slow-moving hurricane. Not a pleasant situation Nothing you can do about it except deal with it, uh, unfortunately. And this will be a slowly winding down system. It's just going to take a while for things to dissipate uh, with the very slow nature of the movement of Manuel. Looks like it's going to eventually get onto the coast here and slowly die out and rain itself out uh, over that area. Big, big flooding concern there for sure. If we look at the Atlantic Basin infrared satellite shot, uh, here is 95L in the Bay of Campeche. Really not very impressive at all. Uh, tropical waves sitting out here that we'll watch as it moves west-northwest over time. Once it gets over here in about a week, maybe less, uh, it might flare up. This is going to be the region. In fact, let me just highlight it in yellow. This is going to be the area that we really have to watch as we get into October. Some of the long-range models suggesting that we see more unsettled weather developing in here and this is the area that's climatologically favored. I know we still have more than 10 days left in September but I think we're going to see a lull in activity and then probably one more peak of something going on in this area as we get into October but right now things not looking too bad for the most part 95L here uh, well I'll show you on the GFS in just a moment what's going to happen. This might develop and then it's going to head on out into the Atlantic, bringing some unsettled weather to Bermuda, but uh, nothing very organized, no strong winds, or you know nothing like a hurricane, for goodness sake, so that's good news. Uh, so here's the GFS. We'll take a look at the next five days, and here is our system down here, 95L. So as I go through the frames, I'm just going to go right on through them here the next five days, and keep your eye on this right down here. You'll see what happens with it. Not very much. Pressure is not very low. You don't see a very well organized system. Uh, this tries to get going, as I was mentioning, that area east of Florida. But you see it's very slow moving and it'll move on out away from land areas, really not even bothering Bermuda, which is right there. Uh, so we move on out into time, 48 hours. Uh, pretty good front dipping down across the nation's uh, third, the eastern third of the country. Uh, it's tapping some of this gulf moisture, so there might be some heavy rains coming through. As we go on out to 72 hours, uh, again, you see down here in the Bay of Campeche, more rain from Mexico, but this system staying fairly disorganized, not very strong. Uh, this system out here to the south and east of Bermuda, uh, kind of innocuous as well. Very weak systems in the Atlantic Basin this year. Interesting feature way out in the eastern Atlantic. We'll watch these tropical waves as they come across again they might show up somewhere over here down the road since they're not developing out on the eastern Atlantic moving right on through time to day four uh, still low pressure hanging around in this region as we've seen for weeks on end it appears uh, it's just like it's always been there this monsoonal flow of low pressure down there but nothing very organized certainly no hurricanes coming out of this so very little to worry about it appears for the Gulf of Mexico finally going on out to day five you see the Gulf unsettled but nothing significant at all nothing to worry about and these right here these blue lines that I'm coloring over with red those are your zero degree Celsius isotherms or lines of equal temperature fall is coming it's gonna be here in just a few days officially and uh, we're going to start seeing colder and colder weather. But it's still hurricane season. Uh, in fact, out in the western Pacific, 
before I go over the tracking map, look at this. This is Typhoon um, Usagi or something like that, however you say it. And it doesn't matter exactly how you say it. It matters that it's just incredible looking, curled up, giant typhoon with a well-defined eye there. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, it does, but uh, and I only mean that from a meteorological perspective for the people that this is going to affect. Uh, this is certainly bad news. Um, you see the Philippines here, and this is Taiwan. And then right over here, I believe, is Hong Kong. And this is going to head up through the area and then swipe towards uh, Hong Kong and mainland China, not before dumping a lot of heavy rain over Taiwan itself. Here's the tracking map that I was alluding to. Um, just an ugly situation coming up for these folks. Very close passage to the southern tip of Taiwan, a very populated island. And then it takes aim on China coming in from the east. A uh, nice ridge of high pressure. Uh, nice, it's obviously <laughs> not nice for what it's going to do. But boy, a strong high pressure to the north, driving this system due west, it appears, into mainland China. Going to be a big problem for those folks. And this will probably be a major news event. Um, a little tip for you, somebody to follow on Twitter. The Twitter handle, at Typhoon Fury. James Reynolds is his name, Typhoon Fury. F-U-R-Y, Typhoon Fury, at Typhoon Fury. Follow him for some excellent information and pictures and video. He intercepts tropical cyclones in the Pacific and does a very good job of that. And we'll be looking forward to his reports and wish him the best of luck and safety as he documents what happens with this major typhoon in the western Pacific. Well, that is it for me for today. Have a good rest of your Thursday. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, my site. Always an honor to do these videos for you on Hurricane Pro and HD. Hopefully you take away something from them and learn something new each day. I'll be back with more info for you tomorrow.